welcome moon magic super souls thank you so so much for joining me today welcome back to the channel now this is your weekly reading from spirit your weekly guidance from spirit today we are asking for any important messages about exactly what's going on in your world right now as well as advice information anything that spirit may wish to tell you about how to navigate the next seven days the next week in your circumstances um, this is a reading that i post every single sunday first thing early on sunday morning for weekly guidance for the week ahead so super souls we are going to draw three cards and three runes and three charms to help to guide you in and you may find more than one is speaking to you that sometimes happens when that happens it's quite often that more than one of the readings will be about one bit of your world and another about another let's have a look and see what we have so reading one you have magnetism of eros wow reading number one okay reading number two you have ivory wish fulfilling crow and reading number three you have aurora of gamma these are your cards let's now draw three runes and three charms how often this is coming out this little uh, um, Eiffel Tower charm okay so reading one you have uh, the rune of disruption Hagalas and you have the turtle charm as well you can see those okay let's put that here uh, reading number two you have the rune of harvest and you have a flower beautiful flower looks like a Tudor rose reading number three you have the rune of nourishment of possessions and the Eiffel Tower okay so beautiful super souls um, the timestamps as always will be in the information box below and in the comments as well for phone users take as long as you need this is the time when you really tune in to your inf to your intuition and you know it's trusting those gut feelings listening to which of the cards the runes the charms is speaking to you it may be more than one reading sometimes it is sometimes you even may want to come back in the week to a second reading super souls i will leave the video running for just a few moments so you have time to just engage with yourself with the cards the runes and the charms and i will see you in the readings press the pause button if you need any longer welcome beautiful reading number one people now you have been drawn into this reading guided by your intuition by the card of magnetism of eros you also have the rune of hagalas disruption and the turtle i feel like something is closer to you than you realize i think that's all i'm going to say just now but this card really suggests that you are drawing something to you now this is weekly guidance from spirit we've got the, the rune of disruption and the turtle i feel like land is closer if you're out at sea in any way shape or form i feel as though the land is actually in sight even if you can't see it it's literally kind of like something's just around the corner but let's draw cards and see what else we are shown what does your spirit team want you to know about right here and right now what do they want to show you and what's going to be happening for the next seven days what's showing up in your week how best to navigate it let's have a look and ask for reading number one please information for reading number one 
I'll draw these tarot cards. I'm really feeling drawn to the Akashic Tarot this week. So we're going to be drawing from this pack too. And also one of these beautiful Oracle cards as well. Two of these beautiful Oracle cards as well. We'll just go with the organic nature of this reading and see what we are guided into for today's reading for you. Reading number one. So let's have a look at the cards we have so far. You have the card of fearless. That is your first card. Okay. We then have, we have century and also gentian, gentian, gentian this is a gentian violet, this flower. Hmm, these are very interesting. Okay, from the Akashic Tarot. Wow, you have two of roses, winged messenger. You have the bird's nest, three of forces. And you have the queen of roses in reverse. Now, I don't generally read cards in reverse, but I am going to. Actually, I'm going to move these up here. Think we can get them all in. I do with the Akashic Tarot. It's about the only pack of cards I consistently use in reverse. The meanings are so defined. So, okay. Let's look at this. We then have um, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, ooh, and Queen of Cups. This is interesting because the Queen of Roses is the equivalent of the Queen of Cups. Although, you know, here we are in, in the upright position with these tarot cards. Fearless. Mm. Gosh, what is being shown to you? There's something that is just around the corner, something you're bringing to you, I feel very strongly, that's closer than you think. Mm, something needs to be nurtured, fed, looked after, nourished in order to bring it home. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. We have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Mm, things arriving this week. Reading number one. I feel that there is something that you really, really want that is closer than you think, something basically has distracted you. And this reading is very, very clear. It's, it's asking you literally to feather your own nest, okay? It's, you've, you've kind of turned away almost. It, it's not that you've turned away or completely lost sight of something you want, something you're manifesting, magnetism of Eros. This is like, um, I'm seeing this like the law of attraction, the spiraling here, bringing something to you. The universe, you waiting here with open arms, wanting to receive, wanting to bring something to land, to make it happen. But there's been a disruption or a, um, something has come into your world that has caused you to be, to, so it's like dissipated your energy or distracted your attention. You haven't lost sight at all of what you actually want, but it's kind of like your energy isn't fully available for the thing that you wish. And this reading is really interesting. Your spirit team are kind of validating the disruption and saying, you know, look, you know, this has happened, you know, this is, there's, there is, there's been interruptions here, but it's sort of time to bring your focus and your attention back to yourself. It is literally something you really want and desire, Queen of Cups. We have her in the reverse, the Queen of Roses here. Something's caused you to lose your focus around something that you personally wish to have, um, the investment of your energy. If you were a pie chart, of energy. If we were to draw a circle, whoops, <laughs> my apologies, beautiful cards, I am disrupting them. How interesting. How interesting that I have just inadvertently disrupted the cards myself. But if you were a pie chart, a circular pie chart, something has come in and it's like a big slice of your attention, your focus, your energy is elsewhere. 
it's come in it, it's like a it, it could be it could be a family thing you know we've got the roses here two of roses it could be a family situation but something's come in it's caused you a disruption it's taken away your mental energy it's detracted from your emotional energy and it's basically slowed you down okay so just when you thought you were kind of steadily moving forwards you know we've got the knight here followed by you know we have two queens here waiting and ready the energy of the queens here queen of wands queen of cups creating um bringing in manifesting the thing that you desire seven of pentacles you're being asked to reclaim your choices okay don't be fearful of the consequences you know, if there is a, whatever the disruption, I feel like it's quite emotionally laden. And it's, it's just simply, uh, you haven't lost sight in any way, shape or form of something you wish to create. The turtle energy is, is massive. It's the beginning of something. It's something, there's something you really, really wanted, desired. You've wanted to, to really invest fully and you've been distracted. It's time to feather your own nest um, not allow the, the concerns around this situation to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You, you know, gentian violet. I remember these when I was, when I was little, we had like a really old fashioned, proper old fashioned, um, sweet shop. Where, um, when I don't talk so much about my, my world, I give you examples, but I, I, we moved from London when I was a smallish child into a, a little village. And in the village had a proper village sweet shop with jars of sweets. And they used to sell these sweets, these gentian violets. And they taste like violets. They're very flowery and very sweet and very sugary. And they were the same color, purple color. A very amethyst kind of color, actually. I remember those very clearly. And this place here, it's almost like the, the connection to childhood here. It's like bringing yourself back to the sweetness and the innocence it's almost that's what i want to say that's what i'm trying to find the right word in the pie chart the circle of energy and we've got another circle here with a star in it here it, it's like that circle of energy of your pie chart it's as if the sweetness of you has been tarnished it, it, there's a bitter flavor around the interruption something's come in it's taken up your head space your mind space whatever it is it's come in and you, it's taking up more airplay than it should now there will be reasons for that whatever it is in the absolute uniqueness of your world what your spirit team are saying to you wholeheartedly a thousand percent here is in the right here right now regather your own energy bring back the sweetness you don't have to in any way turn away from the situation but you don't have to engage in it to the point where you're overthinking it or you're carrying it around with you all the time you need to let go of this situation not not in terms if it's a family thing you know we don't let go of our families but we can place some boundaries around some things whatever it is that has intruded into your world it's intruded psychologically it's intruded emotionally it's taking up far too much airplay and it has distracted you it's caused you to turn away from something that you're manifesting that you really want that you really were and i think you knew that you you felt in your heart of hearts that you were really close to it you know sometimes when we're manifesting or we're bringing something in or we're working on a project and yes there's still work to be done perhaps but you know when you just feel with every bone in your body that it that that it's flowing through you and it's coming to you it, and it kind of stopped you you started instead of being able to just hold the goal, the dream in your hand, although it was very close to you, you started looking at these clouds on the horizon. This is what was happening. You've looked away from, you haven't lost sight of it, but you've looked away from basically your own center, your own world. This reading, your spirit team are very, very, very clear. There's a really clear message for you reading number one, which is don't be fearful that something is going to go horribly wrong if you are not in sort of 
in, you know, in, involved in this situation, right? It doesn't require the level of headspace and involvement that you've been giving it or whatever it is, you've given it enough. It's time to feather your own nest, right? Bring your focus back to you. This situation, we'll ask about it. How's it going to pan out? But I'm seeing then things start to move forwards, your own choices, the pathway to, to the things that you wish to create start to then kind of, it, it's like these stars guiding the way step by step. It's like you regaining control of your energy, of yourself, of your choices, of your decisions, of your timetable. Okay, so letting go of the, the concerns about a situation so that yeah, just energetically, it's not using up all your headspace and all your time. It's a very, very, very clear reading for you. It's right here. It's right now. And what we're seeing as the week progresses is that you, you, you're you back in charge of your own life, of your own time, of your own energy. And then things start to begin to emerge in a more centered way. I mean, can you see these beautiful um bulls here this one is looking at the clouds this one is now coming back into you so the manifestation the bringing into reality is now returning and she she holds a wand it's really interesting we have queen of wands and here we have even in the seven here she's holding a staff she's back in charge and look what we have here it's kind of like results are coming in she's holding the cup queen of cups so she starts whatever, and the clouds are behind her now. They're still there. The situation around you won't necessarily go away, but you don't have to be so heavily involved in it that it distracts you and stops you from being on course in the context of what you yourself are manifesting for you yourself in your own world. Reading number one, this could not be clearer. I'm going to draw some more cards for you anyway, though, because... It's just a super lovely thing to do and it's a super lovely reading. Your message is so very, very clear. Let's draw from the Art of Manifestation Oracle cards. Um, super Souls, these are the cards I actually give away a pack every month um, in my subscriber, subscriber prize draw and a free private reading as well. I'll say a little bit right at the end of the reading for anyone who isn't aware of that. And thank you, some of you have been messaging and in, you know, in the comments as well about not being able to get these cards. Um, so I'll, I'll just say a little bit about it right at the end of the reading in case anybody is interesting, interested, but I, I'll leave it till the end. Let's just see what we are shown. I am seeing this card too for you. Okay, reading number one. Ha, ah, independence and giving and receiving. These cards are saying it all. Okay, so first of all, this card independence is all about um, navigating relationships in an interdependent way. So not being the overgiver, the one that carries everything or the one that has to do everything, independent to the point of isolation. It's really about um, developing healthy interdependent relationships, not necessarily being the one that has to fix everything, carry everything, carry any sense of burden or responsibility, and managing your own boundaries within relationships. That's what this card is about. And giving and receiving. It's lovely. Give and take is different to giving and receiving. Taking and receiving are not the same. When we take, whoever we take from may or may not have chosen to give. However, when we receive, choice and respect are part of that exchange. Now, what this card is saying to me really for you guys very clearly in your reading, reading number one, both of these cards in unison, very, very clear messages here. Um, it's very important that you are not allowing the needs of someone else to override your world to the point where your energy is diminished, to the point where you are not able to focus on your own process of manifestation for the things that you wish to receive. This is a, a week of re-establishing your needs as a priority, allowing yourself to receive and establishing healthy boundary relationships. The situation, the clouds are still there. I'm seeing a circumstance or a situation around you. It doesn't appear to be going away 
fast. It, it, it involves, I think, quite possibly for many of you, a family situation. But, you know, it could also be community or something that's going on around you. It could even be your work community, your work family. But something has been drawing your attention away from your own focus. And this is a week when your spirit team are very clear. They're saying feather your own nest, bring your attention back to and your focus back to yourself. Um, you don't have to do all of this alone. Allow yourself to receive as well as give and focus on healthy boundaries and healthy interdependent relationships rather than codependent relationships where I, I feel like somebody has possibly been drawing on your energy and relying on you far too much to the point where it is distracting you, taking up your airplay and your headspace and stopping you from uh, giving yourself the focus you need to manifest something that is really important to you. And we are seeing some results coming through, but this is a week to feather your own nest. Whatever has intruded, disrupted, it's time for you to step back in. Remove any fear about the outcome of that. Um, your spirit team are very clear it's that, that situation is still there, but it's not for you, especially not this week at any rate, to be jumping. You know, if someone says jump, you don't have to say how high. You go away and you think about when and where and how you might do that. And it may not even be this week. It may be another week. Um, you know, you're going to actually feather your own nest, look after you um, and like bring your energy back into yourself. So your pride chart is complete and you are choosing what to give and how to give. Super souls, this reading could not be clearer for you this week. Reading number one. Um, I will now let you know a little bit. So my prize draw, um, every month I give away a free private reading. I'm not able to offer private readings at the moment, just my own circumstances um, won't accommodate that time. And so once a month, I do give away a free private reading, also a pack of these Art of Manifestation Oracle cards, and at the moment, a diary and a journal. It's a subscriber offer. So if you'd like to get notification and, and never miss a reading, um, if you subscribe and press the little bell icon, they should come into your stream. And if you scroll down through the information below, the timestamps and the cards are all in there um, and, you know, connections to, to various things, including cards and diaries and journals. What you'll find is a subscriber email list. There's a link to join that. Once you've added yourself to that, my colleague draws the name out of the hat once a month and then I announce the winners on a video. On YouTube so watch out for that video if you're on that list because that could be you um, also for those of you who have been contacting me about trying to get these cards and not being able to get them I am trying to find um, an outlet a distribution outlet that I could um, so you know in the States ideally I mean they are available via Amazon in the UK at the moment we're hoping to get some more to Amazon in the States but if we were able to find you know uh, a shop, a store or an online store that would, would actually um, ship these out. If any, if anybody actually knows anybody um, in the States, particularly or Australia, New Zealand, anywhere across the globe and in the UK too, you know, it would be amazing to have that distribution um, network in place. And, and thank you to all of you who've been inquiring and trying to access the cards. We're kind of doing our best, but if any of you have um, any connections that you could kind of help us with, that would be amazing. Super soft. I am sending you all the love in the world. Um, have an amazing week looking after absolutely number one you. Um, tons of love reading number one. Welcome beautiful super souls. Reading number two, you have the card of Ivory Wish Fulfilling Crow. And you have the rune of harvest. This is very interesting because this is this is a card that speaks of wishes being fulfilled, almost as if they can't not be. You know, there's there's something of a certainty, a sense of trust, uh, because wishes are connected to either a higher level of consciousness or a state of evolution. Hmm, this is so interesting with the rune of harvest. It's like something, I feel like something may be coming to a completion. Now, we are asking for immediate guidance, information for the here and now of your world, reading number two, and also for advice and guidance, information for the next seven days. You know, I do these readings every single week. So 
We'll draw some more cards and see what else we are shown, please, for reading number two. And I'm really I'm saying in reading number one, I've been really drawn to the Akashic Tarot this week. So let's see what we are drawing here as well. Ooh, that seems an awful lot of cards, Super Souls. But you know, I think I'm going to go with them all. Your oracle card or another oracle card. What are we shown for reading number two? What information does Spirit wish you to know about right now? Detailed information, please, about num reading number two's circumstances. Oh, we have the card Play With Me. Hmm. Let me place that just here. Let's look at your Akashic Tarot cards. You have Uriel and the Sphinx. You have the One of Roses, Ace of Roses, Commitment. Okay, you have Two of Scrolls, The World. Oh, Two Worlds, I apologise. It's in reverse, okay, but it's... Let's turn it the right way up so we can have a look first. Okay, two of scrolls, two worlds. I'm loving that it's in reverse. I will explain exactly why I'm loving that, but I am loving that. Okay, this means a situation has is coming to an end. Something that was imbalanced, uh, something you've been investing in, um, but it didn't seem to be uh, moving forwards. It wasn't happening. That is coming to an end here. Um, we then have five of roses. This sometimes involves children in some way, shape or form. Okay. And then we have, ooh, super souls. You have the king of forces. Wow. Okay, let's place this just down here. But I actually, yeah, we'll just place it there. And let's draw all of these cards out. You then have rock rose. Oh no, isn't that interesting? Look at that. Look at this charm and look at this rose. They are just virtually identical. How interesting is that? I feel like something is coming into you this week. Something's coming to an end. It's like um, something that kind of either got buried or taken over or was a weight for you or was shaken or messed around. Um, I, I almost feel like you actually get to move forwards in a state of relaxation and flow. It's like the flow returns to you in some way, shape or form. Whatever has been knocked off track or off balance in some way in your world, it moves into flow this week. Loving your, your reading, reading number two. Absolutely loving your reading. Seven of Swords we have here. Knight of Cups. Ooh, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay, this is really interesting. Hmm, okay. The first thing I'm going to say to, to you is if in your world, somebody has been behaving rather childishly, rather badly, and um, messing you around, playing with you, so to speak. <laughs> then, actually, uh, this is the this is the point now where there is a shift and something uh, changes. It's like you've been investing in something, maybe somebody wasn't really giving you what you needed or something's coming to an end here that's caused, has been causing you a problem. And I, I literally do feel as though somebody who maybe was a bit backstabby or, or messing you around or your integrity wins through here. This is super lovely. It's like, it's almost like, like Uriel and the Sphinx is like a card where, you know, it says, you know, the Sphinx was 
uh, buried under sand. You know, it has been buried under sand many times. You know, the winds of the desert come in and they blow the sand in and it has to all be dug out again. And, and then, the, you know, years later, it can be buried again. Something is coming to light here, though. We have this moon. Can you see this moon here, the full moon? And the Sphinx is looking up at the moon. Something comes to light this week that closes the door to something that has been, that either you have been, um, it, it, it's been stopping you from moving forwards or it, it could even be an attitude within you. But I, I feel like it's, it's more than that. I feel like there has been something, yeah, maybe a bit, a childish energy around you in some way, shape or form. Reading number two, this is actually a very advantageous time for you. You know, something that has been, whatever that is in the context of your world, something that, that has hindered you or that you've been working at and it hasn't quite moved forwards, it begins to move forwards. Something is illuminated, brought to light. If somebody hasn't been behaving well, you know that saying, the truth will out? It's like the truth will out. I feel that, as well that your own kind of integrity um, is intact. I, I want to say, reading number two, honour is food for the soul. You know, when, when somebody behaves badly and you kind of hold your own course regardless, um, and then sooner or later, like the truth will out, and, and I almost feel it's like you get vindicated in some way, shape or form. Whatever this is in the context of your world, something is shifting, it's coming to an end. I'm just going to move these cards along here. It's shifting, it's coming to an end. Your courage returns, your strength returns, your vitality returns. You may even find, I think as well, reading number two, that someone comes in and joins forces with you in a way that they are actively working with you. I mean, King of Forces is a super lovely energy. This is all about a conflict or a coming to a resolution or something that has been a problem, uh, something that was hidden comes to light, therefore it can be fixed. Or a conflict um, gets sorted out and you are seen for the person you really are. If someone was behaving badly, you're vindicated. There's something that, it, that reaches its conclusion, it reaches its harvest, its point of transformation. Your courage, your strength, your vitality, your um, your credibility, all of these things return. It's really lovely. Even this king of forces, we have these animals, you know, um, we have a deer, we have a wolf, we have a hare. Normally they would not, you know, be able to necessarily um, get on that well together. Um, you know, the wolf might want to, you know, hunt the hare, but somehow these animals can all sit together. There's a an integrity, there's a, a resolution, an energy of something being fixed maybe by something coming to light, that if, if any of you are going through any legal issues, it's like they get fixed and sorted, something comes to light. Um, if you've been waiting for a contract to be signed, but somebody's been messing you around, deliberately taking longer than they ought to, or slowing the proceedings down, something is shown and it starts to move forwards. If you've been investing in something, um, yeah, that, that it's it's something is is changing, shifting this week. If it hasn't already changed for you, um, reading number two, that your message for this week is very very clear. It's going to, and I love the play with me card. For me, this this card always, on on the one hand, it sort of says, you know, don't don't play with me, don't mess with me. On the other hand, it's also got another message that is genuinely playful. It's like you can ease up, you can, you know, you don't have to be on high alert anymore. You can, the pressure is removed. You can start to be more playful, more joyful over something because something is getting sorted, it's getting fixed. And I want to say if there are any casualties in this, anyone that has been kind of, yeah, contracts messing you around, um, 
it, it gets it really does get sorted and, and we're seeing a massive shift um, conflict resolution something coming to end harvest coming in so to speak and you are intact your integrity is intact your position is intact um, reading number two this is actually a super nice week I think for you because something is shifting that perhaps um, previously you know could have been causing you a problem you know giving you a hard time you will come out of this with that genuine sense of um, self-satisfaction and I don't mean in an ego way you know the ivory wish fulfilling crow is like the it's the results that come through being absolutely in harmony with um, almost like with with the pathway of the spiritual warrior taking right action and it all gets kind of like something gets sorted out and the self-satisfaction is kind of devoid of ego it's that self-satisfaction where you can genuinely say do you know what I know I did the right thing and wow the rewards have come back into me so this is a super super nice reading reading number two it really really is I feel like the message is actually very very complete I, I will draw some cup a couple of other cards for you but genuinely that's what we're seeing here whatever the situation that is has has been happening that maybe is still around you your spirit team are really clear this week it is something will come to light it will be revealed shown to you your own hard work will be seen for what it actually is there is the potential now to be rewarded for that whether it's karmically or otherwise if people have behaving been behaving childishly um, you know badly behaved causing you worry you know it, it kind of gets it gets sorted here I love this knight of cups queen of cups nine of pentacles here genuine solid um, self-esteem through and, and, and self-satisfaction through genuine self-esteem I, I am loving loving your reading reading number two now let us look yeah there may be even real validation of, of your position here I'm seeing these two cards actually Ooh. okay bless your past and the bigger picture okay these are really interesting cards okay this is really referencing kind of um I think something of what's been going on around you so let's talk about these cards you know blessing your past it's really time to let something something gets sort of sorted you know when something does get sorted it can still linger there's a really clear message from your from spirit here which is actually it is getting sorted it will be sorted this week things will move forwards um, and actually you can you can let go of it you can let the past go you can leave it to rest there has been a bigger picture as well um, everything and this is such a validation so I will read it to you it says sometimes particularly during times of accelerated growth we feel confused and overwhelmed unable to see the woods for the trees this card asks you to stand back and see the bigger picture everything is happening just as it should and you will soon regain clarity there's such an affirmation here about um, being able to move beyond something here conflict resolution something coming to an end your own integrity shining through sometimes if people are behaving badly in all honesty I mean it's such a human thing isn't it reading number two you know when if people are behaving like you know sometimes you come across people they behave like they're in the school playground and you think you know you know it's sort of I don't know 55 going on five or something and you just think come on you know but actually that gets something gets sorted here and there is a bigger picture things are being moved forwards and you can move beyond something this week that is the real fundamental message for you I am hearing to draw one more of these cards um, super souls right at the end of this reading these are the cards I give away I have a uh, a, a prize like a prize drawer it's my way of giving something back to to you um, as for being part of this amazing community really I, I really really wish to show you my appreciation um, I will say something a little bit about this at the end of the reading rather than interrupt now let's draw one more card and there is your card the cycles of the moon this is very interesting because we have the moon here 
Right, what you might find this week as well, tuning in with the cycles of the moon. Um, now this in many ways, it, you know, these are timeless readings. You can tune into these readings at any time you wish to, just find the right reading for you. But I do post them every Sunday and we are now approaching a full moon. So you may actually find that whatever is revealed this week, that the shift, the turning point comes around this point of the full moon. And what I would also say, that is assuming that you are watching this as I am posting it on Sunday, but whenever you are tuning into this reading, even if it's in six months time, um, you check out when the next full moon is in reference to whatever is going on around you. And I think building up to a full moon, we often feel the emotionality in quite an intense way. But the full moon is a turning point, and this reading is a turning point. Your spirit team are really saying to you, there is a shift this week in the energy for you uh, in a really, really good way. Validation, illumination, things are seen, things are understood. You regain credibility, validation, your strength, um, your integrity shines through. Um, you can start to relax again. So with that shift, I think it, whenever you are tuning in with this reading, at any time, check out in your uh, diary, calendar, journal, um, and I will speak about diaries, calendars, and journals in a minute as well, um, but or, or just Google, find out when the next full moon is, because you might find that that is the turning point, and be thoughtful that your emotions could get a little bit intense building up to that moment, but the something that's going to be illuminated may well be shown and the shift may come around the next full moon. I think we're being shown this for this reading this week, but whenever you come to it as a timeless reading, I think that's when there'll be a turning point. Listen to your energy in the meantime, because sometimes we can feel much more emotionally intense and wound up about things. Um, and, and that's the nature of the full moon. And yet the full moon is also very often a turning point when things are illuminated that help us to then shift and move the energy forwards. Super Souls reading number two. This is actually such a, a favorable week for you. It really, really is. So let me just let you know a little bit about uh, my monthly prize draw, about these cards as well, because some of you have been asking about them. So I, I'm not able at the moment to offer private readings, just the circumstances in my own world won't accommodate that time. So my apologies for those who've been asking. I do give away a free private reading, a pack of these cards. They're a first signed limited edition pack. And at the moment I give away a manifest with the moon, astro moon diary and journal as well every month. It's a subscriber offer. So if you'd like to know whenever I post a reading, so you never miss one, if you subscribe and press the little bell icon, all the readings should come into your stream, including my monthly moon updates as well. And then if you want to add yourself to my subscriber email list, um, I'll put the link in the information box below and the comments along with loads of other links of anything and everything that might be helpful to you. So just scroll through and find it. Once you're on that list, you are on it. Once you've added yourself, my colleague draws the names out of a hat and then I make an announcement. I make a video where I announce the winners every single month. So watch out for the upload of that video. Do check it out. It's only a few minutes long. Obviously, I just literally read out the names. And so you'll know you can then contact me um, to, um, you know, so I can send things to those of you who win. So do check those out. And with the cards, I know some of you have been asking about these cards and have had trouble getting them. We're trying to get some more onto Amazon in the US. And um, they are still, I think, available in the UK. Um, we are also, to be honest, if there's any way um, that I can find some outlets, some, a store or an online store that would actually be able to sort of ship them across the globe, you know, or even a store in the US or, or wherever, Australia, New Zealand, if anybody does actually know of anywhere that would like to stock them, it would be amazing because so many people have asked about them, but distribution is so difficult and shipping costs for individual packs across the globe are really high. So if there's, um, if anybody knows of any outlets that 
that we could contact, do please um, let us know. That would be amazing. Um, Super Souls, thank you so, so much for joining me. Thank you for being a part of this amazing community. Thank you for joining me for these readings. Um, I do post these every Sunday. I am sending you all the love in the world. Reading number two, this is an amazing week for you. It really, really is. Um, there is such a, a massive shift in something that needs to shift. And you, you know, you are really being honoured here. So it's a really super lovely reading. Tons and tons of love to you. Beautiful reading number three, people. So this is a very, very interesting combination you have here. Aurora of Gamma. You have the Eiffel Tower and the Rune of Possessions, Nourishment. This is Ambitions Fulfilled. I feel like you're having an upgrade in some way, shape or form. You're rising. I mean, just look at the energy. You are rising. You're outgrowing something. You are emerging. Rising is the right energy for these, this combination here. Let's draw more cards. This is a here and now kind of what's happening in your world right now reading and um, what does spirit uh, wish to discuss with you, tell you, inform you, what do they want you to know about for the week and um, literally the next seven days, navigating the next seven days. Um, so yeah, what is happening in your world? Let's draw some Akashic tarot cards as well. Mm. And some more oracle cards too. Mm, that's your card. <laughs> wow, super souls. What are you guys up to? What's happening in your world? What are you rising from? What's taking place? Okay, so we have White Mantra Mother Protects and preset oh wow priestess of perfect pairing makes the match okay let me move all these cards over here for just a sec i'm actually going to put these just up here let me just show these to you so you can see them okay this is a connection with somebody this is a partnership of some it's a coming together i don't know exactly what that partnership will be possessions, nourishment, unexpected rewards, gains, surprises, the Eiffel Tower rising, Aurora of Gamma, this is rising, White Mantra Mother protects, this is transition to something, but it's guided transition, absolutely guided. What else do we have here? We have impatience, mm, okay, very interesting. Let's have a look at your Akashic tarot cards too. You have the two of roses. You have the Akashic library in reverse. We have the four of forces and you have the card of spring rather than autumn. This is a spring autumn, but you're in spring here. You have here the two of keys, the treasure, and it's in reverse. That's dead exciting too. Let me just show you the right way up. Can you see the right way up? That this man is standing in a room and it looks as though there has been um, almost like a burglary or a break-in. There's chaos everywhere. Stuff is all over the place. And yet the treasure is still here. The real treasure is still there. Um, it hasn't been touched. It hasn't been stolen. It hasn't been damaged or tarnished. When this is in reverse, a period of chaos is coming to an end. Uh, something is, and with the card in spring here. Mm, this is really interesting. What do we have in your tarot cards here as well? We have Queen of Pentacles. We have Six of Cups. Look at these children here. Just looking at the Two of Roses too. Winged Messengers. Six of Cups coming in. Queen of Swords. 
Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. Let me just show that one to you as well. Hmm. Very interesting reading number three. Reading number three. This is a significant... Um, gosh, I, I really feel very... Like there's something very karmic, something um, serene. Calm returns. Uh, the Princess of Perfect Pairing makes the match is really interesting to have here with Aurora of Gamma because something is coming together or someone is arriving, a messenger coming in, a message coming in, maybe even a message in a book. Sometimes the Akashic Library, there's a message in a book for you. See the card of spring, the treasurer, the treasure card in reverse, which is so positive. Hmm. Mm, I, I have really a, a really interesting kind of um, gosh um, duality of, of feeling sitting here, which is interesting when we have the four of forces, which is the spring and the autumn. And with the Akashic Library in reverse. Impatience is a card that is She's sort of wistfully looking for something here. But serenity returns, the match arrives. Possessions, nourishment, ambition satisfied, rising. I feel like this week, reading number three, two different things are happening. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Two children here, Six of Cups. And look at the, there's like a separation here. Two very different energies here. In the Empress card, she looks dead grumpy, don't you think? Like she really doesn't look. Sometimes the Empress is such a beautiful maternal, mothery energy. But, you know, sometimes it's, it can indicate a, a sort of almost a possessiveness or something. I feel like reading number three, especially with the treasure in reverse. It's irrespective of where you are in the world. You know, here in the UK at the moment, we are heading for the, you know, the winter solstice. So we're not in spring, but spring, this is a week of springtime for you. Serenity returns. There's two messages in your card very distinctly. On the one hand, you are rising above something. Okay. On the other hand, yeah, you're literally, it's, it almost like feels like you're, it's the phoenix rising from the ashes. On the one hand, you're rising above something. On the other hand, something is coming to you. You, you know, there's a diff, there's this, how can I word this right? Um, I try and get this right. When I say rising above, it means something that has been, I've, leaving something behind, sorting something out, moving beyond it, rising above it. You know, like when you hold the higher ground, but it's more than that. It's not really like a taking the higher ground or holding a moral viewpoint. It's literally rising above, leaving something, separating from something, um, some something that has felt like it limited you or, or stopped you from something of a lower vibration, a lower consciousness in some way, shape or form, like of the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's like this point of spiritual or soul evolution. You rise above, you're being protected, you're being guided. And look at all the twos coming through here. We have two children here. We have these two, um, I don't know what they are called, wild kind of... Um, I guess they're bulls or oryx maybe, but anyway, here they are, two of them again, she's dancing above them, two sheep, a ram and a sheep, she's rising above, two bees, two queens, knight of pentacles, the empress, they're kind of, this is a, a very solid energy today, here in your reading, and, and there's somebody here, so you're rising above something, that's one message, but you're, you're rising above something and 
you're also rising up into something. So it's simultaneously these two things, two chairs, two aspects of this, two opposites here in this card. Yeah, just as you rise above, something no longer bothers you. Someone no longer bothers you. As you rise above, it is as if you rise into something. You know, like there, there's some aspect of success that when something no longer hinders you, then it, it's like you're impervious to it. You can't be damaged by something. If there was somebody, uh, these are perhaps silly examples, but if there was somebody who had taunted you or something, suddenly it no longer has any effect. And, and you, you're just not touchable by them anymore. It doesn't bother you. It's really interesting, but something also I think is coming into your life that triggers this. Okay, so we have this really rising up into something, gaining something, finding the perfect match, finding the perfect job, the perfect friend, the perfect partner, the perfect solution, the perfect something. There's a pairing going on here, okay? Lots and lots of pairs coming through in your reading. It really feels as though this, this, there is an arrival which brings in the treasure. It, it activates the treasure. Um, the treasure is there. It's, it was interfered with, but now it's not anymore. And it creates this kind of springtime energy, this adorable rising, opening, blossoming energy, rising like the phoenix. So there's a rising above. Something is coming in though that creates the turning point. It's like a, a, a reward, a, a validation or a something, or it is, it's the job, the person, the, the friendship, the something, the partner, the whatever it is. Something is coming in that is so fabulously right for you that it, it's like that combined energy then elevates. So, and, and as you elevate, that lower energy essence of what you're rising above kind of le can't, can't touch you anymore. It's really interesting, really interesting. I, I'm almost kind of struggling to sort of quite, I hope I'm, I'm explaining it with enough clarity, reading number three, and my apologies if I'm not. So, but I really am seeing this, this that there's been something that you have wistfully longed for there's been, you know, this is life, we're normal human beings, something that has previously caused you disruption. And then this something that you have been longing for, working towards, we see the bees. It is as if the, the stars align, the planets align, the universe starts to open up for you. So certain things trigger the ability to move through and beyond something. I'm very fascinated by the perfect pairing. I, I'm actually going to have to draw more cards around this reading for you, actually, reading number three. What I can say is there is something coming into your world that is the right fit for you. That is the best language to use. And because it is the right fit for you, it elevates you from a place where you were feeling low about something or feeling like something wouldn't happen to the point where it does happen and you both rise up and also simultaneously rise into, uh, rise above and rise up into, yeah, those two things taking place. So let us draw some more cards. What's, what is this that's coming in? Whatever's going on around you, whatever you've been wistfully longing for, there's there's a there's a something that that gets sort of sorted out. It's interesting. I do feel it kind of goes back to either childhood in some way, shape, or form. Um, just just something doesn't bother you anymore. It is. It's, it's like falling in love. If you were, if you were, you. It is that sort of energy. You know, when you fall in love, something that would have got, really got to you and got you down, and then suddenly you 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 meet someone, you're blown away by them, and as you meet them and you're blown away by them, it's like all those other things just pale into insignificance and they don't matter anymore. It's that kind of a shift whatever this is for you. Let us draw some more cards around Priestess of Perfect Pairing makes the match. What is this about? What is this pairing? What is this something coming into your world right now and right here? 
lots of cards coming out for you guys so let's just see what we have okay so we are have the card release negative habits okay let's place this here we have mistakes okay this is interesting we then have the card of imperfection we have the bigger picture and we have collaborate okay okay this is super nice right so what we are seeing right reading number three is um i i feel like you do fundamentally shift so i what i was saying before was that there is something that comes in that's what i was feeling in the reading something that comes in it is like you meet somebody you fall in love and things that previously would have bothered you become insignificant they don't bother you anymore it could come the other way around it might actually also be that you yourself rise up you rise above that energy is coming through so strongly here you cease to be bothered by something that maybe and for some of you i think it goes back to some childhood stuff you cease to be bothered by something you're no longer tangled or held back by something you're not seeking to please someone anymore you release something and through releasing something it enables you to handle, you know, it, it's like you gain a spiritual perspective. I mean, but you kind of really have it. You own it. You hold it. You know it. When we, we gain a spiritual perspective, I think psychologically, you know, we can really understand that people who behave badly are damaged and all those things. But it doesn't mean they don't press our buttons. You know, we're human beings. But it's as if you move through and beyond that. You can handle something. You move beyond blame you see that there's a bigger picture and it's almost like through that shift in energy the very pairing the very person the exact thing that you need comes into the exact person people comes in to help you organization job whatever it is so i'm going to say i think for some of you really the message fundamentally is very clear there is both a rising up a rising into and rewards coming in in some way shape or form what I'm also seeing is there is a release of the past. So for some of you, someone comes in or the right job or the right purpose or the right connection that comes in, it shifts your energy and all those things cease to matter and you move into a very different kind of headspace around something. There is a simultaneous um, something happening in the realness of your life that lays something else to bed, so to speak. For others, you lay the something to bed, you sort it out, you get you get round it, you get over it, you move through it, you move beyond it. It's like this elevation of consciousness. This is the aurora of gamma. Gamma waves are such high vibration. And because you get over it, it just draws in the, the, the perfect pairing. So I think for some people, it's triggered by a pairing or something coming in. For others, it is the shift in perspective and the true understanding of an ability to let go of something and just, do you know what? That's your problem, your life, your stuff. I don't have to dwell in this anymore. I'm moving beyond it. And as you move beyond that, it's like it opens the pathway and energetically exactly the pairing and the perfect support network or whatever it is then comes into you. So I think that it's one way with one some of you and the other way with some of you but the outcome is just the same you rise up you receive you get you have the unexpected rewards gains ambitions satisfied something groovy is really coming into your world here and i i do see possibly somebody departing a little bit a bit disgruntled actually but it's kind of like it's a bit disgruntled but yeah, if there is somebody lingering around you, this is coming through in these readings quite strongly, actually. So some of you may have been drawn to more than one, that there, there maybe have been. We're approaching, um, although this is a timeless reading, we are approaching the end of the year. So often a lot of family issues are raised around Christmas time because that's the time when families come together. And actually family relationships are very often, um, you know, they are wonderful but they can also be quite difficult too. They're often our most difficult relationships. So, you know, it can be quite a mixed experience. Either way, reading number three, 
um, there is a big upgrade in your personal energy either instigated by the coming in of something or instigated by you which brings the coming in of something and it's super 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 lovely it really really is it does feel like it's the phoenix rising from the ashes it really does something you you become impervious to something something that goes, i do think it goes back to childhood as well some aspect some behavior pattern that goes back to childhood ceases to bother you anymore you kind of get the bigger picture it's, it's no longer an issue it doesn't hold you back it really really doesn't something that would perhaps previously literally almost have pressed your buttons you're impervious to it it just doesn't you know it's like water off a duck's back and as a consequence it, it it's that that just shifts and changes everything you're solidly you here that's what i'm seeing which is really super lovely reading number three this is fascinating i mean this really it does really feel like the phoenix rising from the ashes so whatever this is for you in the in the exactness of your world you move beyond it is as if you are able to see through a spiritual perspective in a way that yeah it, it is water off a duck's back i'm not going to say any more super souls this is amazing you have pondered this a lot in order to get here so i'm really validating and honoring this and also the pairing the something the collaboration that comes in that means that you not only are you impervious to some stuff that would previously have affected you um man you can now radiate it's like <laughs> and as you radiate you magnetize and you bring in exactly what you need it's super lovely really is super lovely reading number three this is um a really interesting reading it really really is uh super souls uh these cards some of you have been contacting me about these so this is the end of your reading um i will just let you know a little bit about these because i do give a pack of these away every month along with a free private reading i'm not currently able to offer private readings i know some of you have asked about those um, just the circumstances in my world don't accommodate that timing um, i do give away one free free private reading every month and a pack of these cards it's a first signed limited edition pack and at the moment as well an astro moon diary and journal too um, it is a subscriber offer if you want to also get notification of any of the readings as soon as i post them i post these every sunday um, if you subscribe and press the little bell icon they should come into your stream if you scroll down into the information box and go through I've put in loads of links things that might be of value and interest to you um, I put them in the comments and in the um, information box as well there is a subscriber email list if you add yourself to that once you're on it you're on it forever my colleague draws the names out of the hat once a month and then what i do is i announce the winners here on the youtube channel the moon magic youtube channel so again if you press that little bell icon when you subscribe if you add yourself to the subscriber email list you should get notification of the winner's announcement it's just a, a video for a couple of minutes where i just read out the names do check that out if you're on that subscriber email list because it could be you um, and you know do join that if you would like to it's my way of giving you something back um, every month um, and you know I've had real difficulty with uh, shipping of cards across the globe so truly if anybody actually knows at the moment I think there are still some on Amazon UK I don't think there's any on Amazon US and we're trying to organize getting some out there but if anybody does know any outlets that would like to or stores that would like to stock the cards that would absolutely be amazing especially in different countries where we can you know ship out a box of them to different places so that you guys don't have to pay the extortionate postage um, if if you're wanting them that would be absolutely amazing so if anybody can help us out in that way that would be truly wonderful super souls thank you so so much for joining me thank you to those of you who give back through the super thanks in the comments and thank you all of you for being a part of this wonderful community tons and tons and tons of love